This video is sponsored by Warriors Clothing, 100% authentic and highest quality apparel. Get now on discount. Links in description. Oh, how oh, oh, Wiseman putting on the display. Weatherspoon, no. Wiseman, yes. E uno para Wiseman. I mean, he's a large man who has some guard skills, and he showed it right there. Really nice things. A mobile big, skilled, can shoot it. Wiseman punishes him inside the right there to give Santa Cruz a seven-point lead. With authority there, James Wiseman. I mean, here's Dyson Daniels. Has it sent away by Wiseman. Back to James. Nice two-man game. Catch and shoot. Went a little early, but James keeps it alive and rattles the rim. Zang gets stripped by Weatherspoon. Oh, here we go. Look out below, James Wiseman with the Duncan transition. Wiseman wants to try a triple, he banks it in. Johnson can't hit it, another board for and Wiseman. Credit to Ignite for only four. Yeah. That is awesome. Nice wrap around, bounce pass. Coming into this week, he was one of 22 on right wing threes in the regular season. Dyson Daniels blocked by James. Two blocks for Wiseman, that one very impressive. This game is over. James, let's give you your overall thoughts. And then also the emotion uh, you had at the end of the first half. It's kind of what was going through your mind at the time. Uh, I, I was super nervous the, the first quarter and the second quarter. Um, but I just like second half, I got comfortable. Then that's when I started knocking down shots and stuff. But yeah, man, shout out to 2K. I played 2K last night and I actually like had a had a fun time. Like I was playing with Steph. I was playing with KD. I was playing with the 2013-14 Clippers. So I had a great time last night playing 2K. Yep. What did it mean to also have Bob and Joe and Steve and Juan, all these these guys be here to support you today? I mean, it's a blessing uh, just just to have my teammates come out and support me, too. Um, I mean, it's just great to just have those guys out there just supporting me. And I'm just super appreciative to be playing again. Like, I haven't played in so long, so just to be out there playing, it's, uh, it's a blessing. So, Hey, James, um, you're obviously on the, on the doorstep to a possible return. What was sort of... Uh, the most crucial part of your long rehab process and, and how much did Dayon uh, contribute to that for you? Um, I, I say just like the longevity of it because like being like 10 months, 11 months and not being able to play, just watching like that's like, that's like mental torture almost because you're just watching the game but you can't even like impact the game. But I mean, I just kept my head up. I just stayed strong. I prayed every day and I just put in work. So like I'm just blessed to even be here to just be playing the game. God allowed me to play the game of basketball again, so I'm just blessed to be able to do that. I uh, talked to Dayon earlier, and he was saying that uh, it not it's sort of a silver lining of it was that you were able to work on a couple of things with him. Yeah. What what sort of was your work like with him? Uh, it was really just fundamentals. I really couldn't work on a lot because, like, I was still trying to rehab my knee and stuff, but really it was just fundamentals, um, shooting mechanics and just, like, watching a lot of film. In what ways t did tonight vary uh, from two, a couple of days ago for you, comfort wise and everything? Um, today I was more, um, I was more focused on defense and rebounding. Like really, like the scoring, I, I really wasn't focused on that right uh, this game. But like really, just rebounding, just defense is what I was focused on because because that's gonna help the team when I come back and stuff like that. So that's what I was focused on this game. Are there certain benchmarks that you're looking for to know that your knee is ready, or is it kind of just a day by day thing where one day you know you'll be ready? Um, my knee is fine. It's really just the conditioning part and just like seeing the pictures and like you know all that stuff that that comes with the game. So really, it's just like the mental side of it. just gotta pick up on that. So <clears throat> yeah, 14 rebounds. I mean, you can see the difference obviously with your added muscle and everything like that. What are kind of parts of rebounding that you've worked on over these uh, almost a year now? 
Um, like I said, I really couldn't work on much, but like I just worked on a lot of passing drills, like just like trying to get my passing right, trying to work on that. But really, like in terms of rebounding, I was just like doing a lot of rebound, uh, rebounding drills. Like Decky was just throwing it off the glass, and I just go get it, type stuff. So really, it was just all fundamentals. And where do you kind of want to see your game go from here? Are there any next steps that you want to see as far as offensively, defensively, anything like that? No, I really just playing within the system and just playing within myself and just know. Um, like what I can do in terms of my skill set, run the floor, get, get rebounds, block shots. So that's really all I'm worried about. Uh, I know you're not allowed to, you weren't able to work on a lot of your, your basketball game, your time off, but yeah. clearly you've been working on your rap game. My personal favorite, <laughs> did it again. I want to hear who do you draw inspiration from musically? Um, that's a great question. Really, it's a lot of artists. Uh, I say Tupac in terms of, like self-conscious, like lyrics, like talking about real stuff. And uh, I really say just like a lot of rappers, uh, a lot more rappers than today's generation too, like J. Cole, Kendrick. So just like the lyricism part. What's your favorite track you put out? Um, my favorite track? I say Life's On Course. Life's On Course, that's a great song. And then, uh, I know that when you were scouted initially, they had you listed at 7.240. Yeah. Uh, I think when you were 18, they put that in. Have you grown? Dang, I'm 72. Uh, no, they listed you at seven foot. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I was like, dang. I was curious, though. Have, do you know, have you measured yourself? Have you grown at all since you entered the league? Uh, really, I just say, like, the physicality, like, me getting bigger. Yeah. Can, like, it probably looked like I actually got taller. Yeah. Like, from that image. So, no, nah, I am nah, I guess I'm still the height. Like, I'm still the, my, my same height, but who knows? I, I might be seven, two. Maybe seven, three. I'll check it out, but I'm not tall enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. On some of your uh, your breakaways, what was was there any temptation to get creative on some of those dunks or just throw it down? And then also one of the loudest cheers of the night for you was on your three pointer. Yeah. Can you talk about how much you've been working on that? Uh, I was thinking about doing a windmill, but I was like, nah, <clears throat> we were just gonna get this easy pointer because like we was down, so I just had to go and get the bucket. So yeah. And how about with your outside shot? Uh, my outside shot, uh, really, no, I've been working on my threes a lot, but no, I just like, I mean, really, I just took what the defense gave me, just took that shot. That's really it. So, yeah. Having multiple guys on the team, Steph and Clay, and now Draymond, who have gone through some pretty serious injuries in the rehab, what kind of value has have they given you? What kind of things have they been able to help you with um, in the process? Um, just to make sure I'll be patient. I'm 20 years old, so I got a long career ahead of me. So just to make sure I just be patient, just to take one day at a time. That's really it. So, yeah. Uh, I stay my rebounding, and also my verticality was good as well. I had a couple of them, but um, in terms of everything else, I say just make like making sure I just run fast and, and, and screening more, and, and make sure I hit the man so I can get to the basket. Because it was a lot of them where like I wasn't running fast enough, getting to the screen, and like I could have created a two on one situation, but it kind of didn't happen sometimes. So yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? It's just day to day. So, just going by day to day, see how I feel. That's really. I'm in the last stages of my rehab right now, so really just going day to day. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Have they talked specifically about you not running back to backs? I know they were kind of cautious with Clay as he came back after injury, not playing in back to backs. I know you played today. Obviously, <laughs> Warriors. Here, have a game. Um, yeah, like I said, just take it like day to day. I really don't, really don't know. Yeah. <clears throat>